We gave you the trending list before San Diego. We're back. The news has broken. I'm sick, but I'm not letting that stop me. Let's talk about the hottest comic books in the multiverse. Big congratulations to Johnny Five Alive. You won this boys omnibus set. Big shout out to Johnny Five out there in El Paso and shout out to Nick Barucci and Dynamite for sending through these omnibus so we can give away. Back from SDCC, my voice is a little shot, but you know what? We got to talk about the comic books defining this generation of collectors. Slap the like button, hit the subscribe button. And at the list at number 10, let's chat about some Tomb of Dracula number one. Neil Adams, goodness on the cover. The first appearance of Dracula in Marvel Comics, post-code debuting in 1972. Now, this was actually on the trending list, and even though we didn't get a Blade announcement or any kind of confirmation that Anthony Starr may play Dracula, the book is still on fire. We have a CGC 3.0. It sold for $270, which is its first recorded sale. Bronze Age 3.0s are selling now. The 8.5 12-month average was $806. We saw two different sales this week, one for $905 and another for $909. Now, the CGC 9.2 didn't break record, but it is outperforming its 12-month average by 6%, actually, with this recent sale of $1,483. No Blade news yet. However, we do know when the movie's going to drop at the end of 2023. In fact, it's going to be the last movie of that year to be followed up with Ironheart in the fall, and then at the end or beginning of the following year, Agatha Coven of Chaos. I'm feeling pretty good that they changed that name. What do you think, Jem? Yeah, Agatha House of Harkness just doesn't roll off the tongue. I can't even say it for this video. Moving on to number nine. You know it'd be Avengers 8. The first appearance of Kang the Conqueror. We have one of our big Avenger movies announced, the Kang Dynasty. Jam, I was shocked. I did not see this coming. Not only did they announce Avengers 5, the Kang Dynasty, at the end of Phase 6, we're also getting a second Avengers movie, which is Secret Wars. This is what we've been talking about for over a year. Let's look at the numbers. Yeah, the Kang books have been on fire. A CGC 2.0 sold for $600, which is just 1% over its $595 average. The 2.5 is up 4% over its 12-month average, selling for $650 this week. The 4.0 is up 9% over its 12-month average, selling for $1,140. And the hits keep coming, although not record breakers. It's showing strength in the market that they're all performing well over the average. A CGC 6.0 sold for two grand, 8% over its $1,849 average, just like the 8.5. It sold for 4,500, which is 2% higher than the $4,413 average. Dustin Daniel Cretton not only killed it for Shang-Chi, he is in line to take on Wonder Man, and he is slated to do the directing for Avengers 5, the Kang Dynasty, at the list at number 8. Fantastic 452, the first appearance of Black Panther, debuting in 1966. The trailer dropped, possibly my favorite MCU trailer to date. Yeah, that one was a tough one to get through. Morning, T'Challa in the trailer. Chadwick Boseman passed away in real life. It's going to be emotional. And then you have the war. You have Namor with what I'm thinking is Atlantis attacking Wakanda. It's going to be an emotional movie for sure. And the visuals look outstanding. It looks beautiful. This is going to be a big moment for the character. We're clearly getting a new Black Panther. We're also clearly seeing a descendant born of T'Challa, which is very interesting. The first announcement of San Diego Comic-Con 2022 was that Phase 4 is coming to an end, that it's over and that it's going to finish with Black Panther Wakanda Forever this November. What started with WandaVision giving us Disney Plus shows along with movies, it's actually the phase that has the most hours so far. Although we don't have a lot of record breakers on this book, the 12-month average has been pushed up clearly, showing that this book has been underrated and undervalued for far too long, and that's coming to an end. We have a $366 sale that was the first recorded sale in a .5. A CGC 2.5 sold for $690, putting it 12% above its $616 average. Then you got the 3.0. It sold for $710, which is 3% above its average. The 4.5 sold for $1,002, breaking that $1,000 barrier again, up 1% over its 12-month average. And then we have a 5.5 going for $1,400. That's 3% up over its 12-month average. Who do you think will be the next Black Panther? Will it be short-lived? Will the mantle be passed yet again? Let me know in the comment section below. It'll answer you to win this. Omni-Man Invincible number one, Tyler Kirkham variant. And at the list at number seven, 
Fantastic Four number one, the Golden Record reprint. Golden Record reprint. We had to get some Fantastic Four love on the list, and it's not the OG. It's the reprint that came just a few years later with slight differences on the cover. We have finally confirmation and a release date for the Fantastic Four movie. They showed us the Phase 5 timeline, and they showed us the Phase 6 timeline with a couple blank slots. But we do know, mid to late 2024, Fantastic Four, the first Marvel family, is inbound. They're coming. I'm hoping that D23 will be the other announcements to fill in that timeline, but they gave us what I think no one was really expecting, the names of the two Avengers film that are going to come out within a year of each other. Avengers, the Kang Dynasty, and... Avengers Secret Wars. Ever since Disney acquired the rights from Fox, the Fantastic Four issue number one has skyrocketed, which is why we're seeing the Golden Record reprint on the list here. A 5.0 just tied its all-time record high, selling for $1,000. Then we have a 4.0 going for $650 back in April, up 3%, now selling for $670. And a 6.5 going for $660 in 2021. What a 4.0 basically is going for this year is up 42%, now selling for $938. I think mid-grade, this book is going to break $1,000. Number six on the list is Marvel Team of 15, which is the first meeting of Spider-Man and Ghost Rider. Now, we didn't get any Ghost Rider reveals or news in Hall H or in San Diego Comic-Con whatsoever, but we did have that Midnight Suns trademark shortly before San Diego Comic-Con. This is so intriguing, Jem. Just days before the Hall H announcements, we had trademarks that were being purchased, and many of those trademarks were announced during Hall H's presentation by Disney, by Marvel. But one in particular was not. Could it be because D23 is near? That's what I suspect. And what was that leaked trademark purchase? It was Midnight Suns. Everybody is excited to see Ghost Rider in the MCU finally portrayed the way that he deserves to be. A CGC 6.0's got its first recorded sale selling for $56, but then we have some high grades, a 9.6, which went for $357 back in 2021, up now 18% selling for $420. Then we have the elusive 9.8. I haven't seen one publicly sold since 2018. Then it sold for 400. Now it's up 260% this week, selling for $1,440. Next at the list at number five, Daredevil number seven, debuting in 1965. We have Subby. We have Daredevil debuting his red costume, fighting on the cover. A Hall H announcement that we did get was for Daredevil. Not a movie, but we got an 18-episode TV show coming to Disney Plus called Born Again, and we know that Vincent D'Onofrio is going to be part of it. This past week, we even got a She-Hulk trailer giving us glimpses of Daredevil seemingly in what could be his classic yellow costume. Well, here we have the debut of Daredevil's red costume, and we have multiple prices to discuss. We even got a record-breaking sale for a CGC 1.5. It sold for $100 back in 2020. It's up 100%, now selling for $200. The 3.5 had a $428 sale, which is 7% up over its 12-month average. A 6.5 is up 12% over its 12-month average, selling for $1,035. Then we have an 8.0 selling for $2,250, which is 20% over its 12-month average, where it was selling for $1,878. Next at the list at number four, you know we had to talk about Subby at some point. Submariner number 20, debuting in 1969. But what I didn't see coming was that it was going to be a 9.8. Hot damn. A 9.8 making the list, and this is also the first battle between Submariner, Namor, and Doctor Doom, who has to be coming if we're getting Secret Wars. A CGC 9.0 sold for $235 back in December. It's up 155%, now selling for $600. Then we have a 9.4 selling for $237 in 2020, up 223% selling for $765. I suspect that we are going to get a glimpse of Dr. Doom. We may find out in a post credit scene that he was the person behind a lot of the grievances as well as ruckus that was happening under the waters of Wakanda. No, it seems like a great opportunity to introduce him now and build him up big enough before Secret Wars. That CGC 9.8 sold for just $400 back in 2013. It's up 410%, now selling for $2,040. If you enjoy what we do, hit the link in the description and join the August Mystery Mail Call. One per box. We're sending out a Gambit number one, written by legacy X-Men writer Chris Claremont, with a cover done beautifully 
by Peach Momoko. Trade dresses and virgins going out at random. A dual exclusive with the powers of whatnot. Link in the description. Support this show. And at the list at number three, we have Marvel Premiere number 47, debuting in 1979. This is the first time Scott Lang dons the Ant-Man costume. And we know Ant-Man and Wasp 3 Quantumania is coming, but it's also the first appearance of Cassie Lang, who we saw in poster in what looks to be like her Stinger outfit. Now we know that the actress has mentioned her going full stature eventually. Who knows how this character will evolve over time, but it's great seeing this comic get some love. We have a 4.0 going for $56 in 2020, up 34% selling for $75. We have an 8.0 selling for $180 this week, which was 7% over its $168 12-month average. However, at the time of this filming, the average has tanked down significantly because somebody grabbed a steal of a deal an 8.0 sold for $94 just hours before the filming of this video well done comic fam hot damn that's why you got to be on the lookout for the books on this list you might be able to snag one for a deal the cgc 9.4 and 9.6 both sold 12 percent higher than their average sale not only is ant-man quantum mania drawing near we know that kang is going to be a major foe in the movie but like key collector comics confirmed as recently as january of this year modok is inbound so much San Diego Comic-Con news. We were there and it's hard to keep track of it all. That's why you got to download Key Collector app. Hands down the best comic app in existence. No competition. Utilize code TOM101 to unlock a free two-week subscription. Support the show but get access to a wealth of comic book knowledge as well as updates on the app to keep you up to date on this rapidly moving marketplace. As Jem mentioned, we were at San Diego Comic-Con and we had to utilize the app to keep up with all of the news because there was so much we needed an app to condense it down to the highlights so we could come to the mic with the knowledge to bring the comic fam every single week hit the subscribe button next at the list at number two we didn't get the news we were hoping for but d23 is still coming soon maybe we'll get news on Deadpool 3. We have at the list at number two, New Mutants 98, debuting in 1991, Deadpool's first appearance. Even though we didn't get any news, we did get to see Rob Liefeld, but we did see a slew of noteworthy sales. No record breakers, but check this out. An 8.0 newsstand sold for $400, which is 12% over its 12-month average. A direct edition in an 8.0 did the same thing. It sold for $419, which is 8% over its 12-month the 9.4 newsstand sold for $7.65, which is 24% over its 12-month average. The CGC 9.8 newsstand edition sold for $3,600. That is just 1% higher than its 12-month average. A 9.8 direct edition sold for $1,850, which is 3% up over its 12-month average. Not only did I give away a New Mutants 98 over the San Diego Comic-Con whatnot streams that I did, as did Rob Liefeld because he debuted his whatnot first appearance this past weekend. Shout out to Whatnot, the best new place to buy and sell collectibles, bringing in the Legends of Comics to the mic to connect with the community. Amazing. Humberto Ramos also joined Whatnot over the weekend. It seems like we might have been ahead of the curve when it comes to Whatnot. I like how you think, Jem. At the list at number one, we have the hottest book in the world to talk about. Hit the like, slap the subscribe button. We have Avengers number nine debuting in 1964, the first appearance and death of Wonder Man, who would be later resurrected and who would later get a MCU debut courtesy of the director of Shang-Chi. And this is not even SDCC news. This is still Wonder Man riding high off of the announcement that he's going to be getting his own show on Disney+. Plus. We've got the first time ever for a recorded sale and a 1.5 selling for $184. But that's not all. A CGC 5.0, which sold for $515 back in August, is up 18% now selling for $608. Then we have the 6.0 going for $705 just last month is up 13% with an all new record high of $800. I got to assume the news about the director of Shang-Chi, Dustin Daniel Cretton, being tied to the Kang Dynasty, the Avengers film, has to bode well for the Wonder Man announcements. Want to know what you think in the comment section below? Let me know by commenting, and I'll enter you to win this giveaway. And as always, geek responsibly and stay minty fresh.
Nuff said. Join myself, Jam Mint, all my homies on the best new app to buy and sell collectibles. What not? Available for both Androids and iPhones. Dollar start auctions that last as little as 15 seconds long. We gave away over $4,000 in giveaways over this last weekend at San Diego Comic Con 2022. And you know we're going to C2E2. Link in the description. Follow both Jam and myself and have a great week. We have two other videos for you to check out. Peace.